Hello everyone and welcome back to Passion Sundays, the best way to end a week and start another. Our guest today stands to be the world's number one speaker trainer, Andy Harrington. Andy, thank you very much for being with us today. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much for inviting me. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a passionate speaker and, uh, and I love people who are helping people learn how to speak and uh, even more helping them pursue their passion through speaking. So what does passion mean to you? Well, I think it's quite simple. I think it's in the word itself, isn't it? I think it's love. And I, think it's, I think it's doing what you love. Okay. I think when you do what you love, that, that, that love vibration comes through in everything you do, whether it's a, you know, a, a presentation, whether it's a, 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 just a simple conversation with somebody, how you treat your customers, how you engage with your staff members if you have any. It's everything that's the vibration of love is resonating. We say passion, really, but what it really means is love. I mean, I guess it's just a, a safer word to use in business, perhaps, yes. than, than the real true word, which is really love, which is loving what you do. I love it. So you love what you do, and you get on with doing it, but it doesn't always come easy. I mean, it looks, you know, it looks easy to say, I love things, but your love will get tested along the way. So how do you find that love and that passion while things are tough? I think you uh, have to recognize that the reason you're doing what you're doing is because there's, there, you need to find your why. When, you, when, when your why is strong, when you know the reasons you're doing something, I think you need to have two whys. Why is, why am I doing what I'm doing? And the second one is, why am I doing it for the people I'm doing it for? Mm. So if you know that you care and love your subject, your thing that you do, that you've become an expert at, that you've distilled your knowledge in and your know-how, and the second one is caring about who you do it for, then as you hit those road bumps, as you will inevitably hit, then if your why is strong enough, then you'll find those answers and you'll mm. deepen your understanding and your knowledge of your uh, area of expertise that you're in or people or marketing or sales or just business in general. Um, but it's, that's the key. I think it was uh, Simon Sinek wrote a book, if people haven't read it, called Start With Why. Mm. And he says that you know, people don't buy just what you do, they buy why you do it. And you know, I teach public speaking. Funny enough, we, you know, we're here doing that right now. And uh, today's been about storytelling. Mm. And that is all about uh, putting together your story that illustrates your why. Mm. The why you do what you do mm. and uh, the why you care about people. And where did, that, where did that why come from? And it's about taking people back to that why. If you look at Steve Jobs and Apple, you know, his why was there when he was at the company. Um, and when he was exited from the company uh, many years ago, and Apple went down, it was actually because Steve Jobs had failed at that point to, uh, to communicate his why to the people that were left. Mm. And of course, the new people came in, the business people, because it became a, more of a, a, a listing on the stock market type mm. of company. Their why was very different to Steve Jobs' why. And then you had an incongruency between the staff members and the people in the boardroom, which of course inevitably typically gives you conflict and a, a downward spiral. That's a very important point, that it's not enough that you know your why. You have to communicate your why and make sure everybody around you knows that why. So you, you, get, a, you get a passion tribe, what I call a passion tribe around you, supporting you on that journey. Yeah, quite right. Because you know, if you want your business to expand and scale, then everybody in your business needs to know your why. And in doing so, it, it enables them to make more decisions based on that why principle. So it's not about just putting a series of values on a board and saying that's what we believe. It's about creating the story behind mm. the brand that illustrates that why. And then when that story is bought into by every staff member, you know, every customer, mm -hmm. then the whole resonance of the company is vibrating at a similar frequency and you tend to get a lot mm. of win-win. I like that. So all of this is, is nice and a lot of people are living what they love having the passion for what they love, but turning that into a profitable business is a totally different story. And I know you're, you're, you're working on something now where you've released already a book around turning passion into profit. Would you tell us more about that? Yeah, you, you have to be passionate about marketing. Okay. Um, it, it, because ultimately marketing is about the amplification of that story, the amplification of the message, the amplification of the service. Okay. Uh, and you, you have to care about that as well. You can't compartmentalize yourself and just care about one aspect. You do have to care about the marketing aspect at the very least. Okay. Um, because to, in today's world of marketing, we're living in an age now where it, it's no longer okay, for, to, for, to, for example, to hire a, a copywriter mm. to write a sales letter as if it came from you mm. when it didn't really. Yeah. Because marketing today is content. Yes. Marketing today, 
in the sack of the same way yeah. that you must stuff so doing, doing today is adding value. Marketing in the past was buy my stuff, buy my stuff, mm -hmm. buy my stuff. Um, and the only people who bought those stuff are people who were ready to buy. The people today that are buying are people not yet ready to buy, but what we're doing is we're serving that community in advance and creating that trust such that when they're ready to buy, we're top of the mind thinking. Mm. You know, Nike, for example, might have to do advert after advert after advert to get into people's consciousness. And whilst TV was the medium of the old, it isn't today. And so today we have, as you are now demonstrating through your vehicle, we have that way of getting in front of people to add value. So, so really, today marketing is, is content. It's adding value. Mm. It's making a difference. Um, so that has to take, and that has to come from the top. You know, mm. it has to come from that. And, and what you can do is, whilst what you're doing is very intelligent because you're interviewing, you know, successful entrepreneurial type of people that are mixed. Um, but for those people out there who, who aren't speakers, for example, and perhaps aren't, you know, good at creating content, then capture it. And what I mean by that is just, just capture content when it happens because mm. there are times where there's a stimulating conversation taking place. There's a moment where you might, you know, uh, be doing something or launching something, capture that and repurpose it and use it in mm. some way uh, as a marketing piece. So in that way, you're just, rather than creating a specific environment in which you're going to create content, just look at what you're already doing and think, how can I record that mm. moment or that piece in time and then utilize that, get it on Facebook, put it on YouTube, put it on Instagram and start to build that story because your story should evolve. You can't just have the past story of who we were and what our why is. Mm -hmm. Then what has to happen is what you do every single day, that capturing of that content should reinforce and should ultimately demonstrate that that story is continuing in some way, shape, form, and that passion continues to shine. I love it. Passionately capture the moment. That's a great way to conclude this episode. Andy, thank you very much for the beautiful content that you've given us and the beautiful passion. And I would highly recommend all our viewers to go and grab your book, Passion to Profit. Yes, right. So they, they, can, get, they can actually get a free copy. Okay. Um, we just ask people to pay for the shipping worldwide. Beautiful. Um, but uh, that, That's for all of you Passion Sundays viewers, an amazing gift from Andy Harrington, a free copy, and you just pay for the shipping. Yes, it. So the, the website to go to is simply uh, www. as you'd expect. Uh, passion into profit okay uh, and then dot co dot uk okay passion into profit dot co dot uk you will see it down below here andy thank you very much for being with us today i really that, appreciate it uh, an immense pleasure thank you very much appreciate it thank you passion what do you think i would really love to hear your opinion if you found this episode useful Put your comments on the blog below and do share this episode with your friends. And if you'd like more tools, tips, techniques, and exclusive interviews that I only share on my website, go to mustafa.com. And until next episode, live passionately.